When I think of Black History Month, the first thing that comes to my mind is progress. Most people know that Black History Month actually started out as a week. It was Black History Week, and then it evolved into a month. So when I think of Black History Month, I think of continued progress. I've started to understand a lot more of my own history, and not just the history that was given to us in elementary school or middle school through textbooks, but real history. So I always praise leaders like Fred Hampton, uh, Angela Davis, real leaders of, of black movements that actually mattered. Growing up, you know, in history class and stuff like that, you really wouldn't learn much about um, black inventors, black doctors, nurses, and stuff like that. So. When it comes to Black History Month, I kind of think of an opportunity for you to, you know, learn something. I think that we need to educate our kids of what happened in the past in order to progress in the future. There's so many things that I'm still learning about Black History Month, and I'm 21 now. For example, 5,000 kids went to jail in Birmingham. That's what they in the rug. Rosa Parks wasn't the first one to not sit up on the bus. Another thing. I think we as a, as a country need to do better. We as uh, a generation need to educate ourselves and educate those who came before us to be better and to do better. You might not be able to change like the whole world, but if you change like one person's perspective, like they can like teach other people, like it's not okay to be racist, it's not okay to discriminate or be biased. We need to acknowledge that white privilege is a thing. We need to acknowledge systematic racism. If we can't acknowledge those two things, we can never go anywhere. When I look back at my history and I look back 50 years, I would never have been able to have given or been given this opportunity to swim. You know, there were segregated pools, there were segregated, there weren't even really pools for black people back then. And if there were, they were segregated. So uh, just acknowledging the fact that I am so blessed and so thankful to be able to compete for the last 15 years. I would not be here as a UWM student. I would not be here as a track and field athlete if it wasn't for what they did a long time ago. But I'm still just super excited for what we're going to do in the future.